A lot of people think the TCL C6K is a replacement for the C755, but that's not actually the case. The C755 has more dimming zones, so it handles dark scenes a little better with deeper blacks, less blooming, and more shadow detail. The C6K still performs very well here, just not quite on the same level as the C755 if you compare them at the same size. Keep in mind that both get more dimming zones as you move up in screen size. In terms of brightness and color, both support Dolby Vision, HDR10, HDR10+, and HLG, so you get all the main HDR formats. The C755 tends to be a bit brighter and has slightly more accurate colors, but the C6K is still bright enough for most people and delivers plenty of HDR punch. Both include IMAX picture mode, HDR10 modes, and options to tweak things like color temperature and blue light filtering. Gray uniformity is good on both, with little to no dirty screen effect. Upscaling is also solid, though neither will work miracles on really low-resolution content. Viewing angles are a touch better on the C6K because it uses an HUVA panel, while the C755 sticks with the standard VA panel. The difference is there but not dramatic. Motion handling is smooth on both as long as you enable the motion settings, and judder can be almost completely removed with proper tuning. For smart features, both run Android 12 with Google TV, and they're quick and responsive. The C6K gives you a customizable shortcuts menu, which the C755 doesn't, at least not yet. The remote is another difference. The C6KS is smaller, more ergonomic, and has a better button layout, while the C755's remote feels bulkier and less comfortable. Gamers will be happy with either TV since both support 4K at 120Hz and even 144Hz VRR, along with TCL's game master tools like aiming aids and shadow detail boosts. The C6K has an edge here with two HDMI 2.1 ports that support 144Hz, while the C755 only has one. The game bar is also more customizable on the C6K, with options for themes and a movable crosshair, while the C755 sticks to a fixed layout. Input lag is low on both, so they're great for competitive play. When it comes to connections, the C755 has two 3.5mm audio inputs for headphones and AV adapters, while the C6K doesn't include one at all. For sound, both TVs are strong for built-in speakers, but the C755 pushes slightly more power. So which one should you pick? The C755 is the better choice if picture quality is your top priority. It handles dark scenes better, is a bit brighter, has more accurate colors, and slightly stronger audio. The C6K, on the other hand, is the smarter buy if you want a newer design with a better remote, slightly better viewing angles, a more flexible gaming setup thanks to its two HDMI 2.1 ports, and more customization in the interface.